It's been quite a while since I last recorded a video. Um, September, I believe it was the last time I filmed anything. But, hello, welcome. It's another brand new day. It is the 26th of December, it's Sunday. It's Boxing Day here in the UK, well, everywhere I suppose. And um, today, I'm back at the Seven Valley once again to film the first day of their festive service week. What is that? I'll explain after the intro. So I've just come down to the end of platform one. I've uh, just been and got my ticket, and this makes a difference from the last time I was here. Actual proper little tickets now, as opposed to wristbands, which is awesome. Um, so, Panny has just whistled off. What is the festive services week? So basically, after Christmas, the Seven Valley does this week of services. My glasses are starting to steam up. Um, does this week of services where they just run a few trains, not that many across the day. Um, and it's basically just a tide over until the new year. Um, so then from January, they then close the railway completely um, and then go on through their winter maintenance until I think April, I think it's gonna be this year. Um, so yeah, this is what the festive service week is. I've done this before, but never on Boxing Day, I don't think. Um, there is a reason why I'm doing it today, as we've got the pannier. I'll show you the pannier. If you can see it through all that smoke. Um, but there is a reason why I'm doing it today and I'll explain that in a minute. If you are wondering by the way why the coaches have all of this lighting and all attached and you can see it right down the train, um, this was the stock that was used for their steaming lights um, weekends uh, and I think they did it during the week as well where basically this uh, this service here had the steam loco at this end and then the diesel, uh, a diesel up at the other end. And they ran it up to Hampton Load with all lights on the outside. It looks really, really nice. Um, so, why am I doing this today? The reason being because um, here in the UK at the moment we have, um, there is no lockdown here in the UK, but there are rumors going around that one might happen from tomorrow, so the 27th as I'm recording this, uh, which is when I was originally planning to come to the railway. Um, but with the sort of possibility of a lockdown happening, I thought, probably best not, better come today, really. Um, so that's how I've ended up coming here on Boxing Day. And it's very quiet at the moment, there is hardly any people here, and there's a few people up at the uh, front looking at the loco. Um, but yeah, apart from that, not really many other people here. Don't know how busy it's gonna be today, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Um, my glasses are gonna keep steaming up because it's cold and it's miserable and it's just one of those typical December days. Um, but yeah, let's just go and have a look at the loco again, I think, and see what else is going on today. Okay, so we've just left Bridge North now. Um, we're heading to Kidderminster. 
plan for today is a simple one really, head to Kidderminster, spend about an hour there, come back then to Highley, spend an hour there and then head back to Bridge North, should be getting to Bridge North for about 3 o'clock roughly, um, so yeah let's just see what happens as we head all the way up to Kidderminster. Okay, just arrived in Kidderminster, we've got the class 40 here, going on the next service out of Kidderminster, so we're going to head down, end of the platform and give it a, a film it, coming out of the station. Always love a diesel. Well that was good, seeing the class 40 leave, now we're going to head down to the station, have a look and see what's going on there, maybe have a look around the museum and the gift shop and uh, yeah, as I said, got about an hour or so until the service, which I think are going to be these coaches, uh, once again departs, so we're going to head back into our compartment afterwards in about half an hour or so, let's head down, see what's going on. Okay, so as you just saw in the station, Kidderminster is still looking very Christmassy. Obviously, still Boxing Day, so the Christmas stuff isn't going to be gotten rid of yet. Um, I will have had to put music over that um, because they were playing Christmas songs, and even though I'm not monetizing this, I'll get claimed to uh, absolute heaven and back. Um, so I'm going to go now, get some lunch, get back on the train. Not much else going on here really, and then head off down to Highley. Okay, so I've been and got some lunch. And now I'm going to head back onto the train to head down to Piley and see for the first time actually in about two years what's going on at the engine house. And yes, as you can see, typical December day once again, it's now started raining. Oh, joy. At least it's not snow. Ok, 
Okay, we're off the train. Made it to Highley. That was a a lengthy walk through the uh, through the carriages, but now we're going to go and have a look at the engine house and see what's going on there. I think this is the first time in about two years I've actually been to the engine house, so let's go and see what's going on there. So the first thing that we're greeted by, as you can see, is a giant Santa. That is uh, not something that you normally see here, only here for Christmas, but that is one big Santa. Okay, so this is the engine house. This is where they have various locomotives stored here. All these are waiting for overhaul. This one here used to be my channel logo for a while. LMR number 600, Gordon. Here we have a Jinty, 3F Jinty, and this one here is a small prairie. Uh, 2016, I believe the boiler on that one ran out. Coming down, this one here, rather unique. This is not a Seven Valley Railway locomotive, as you can see by the side of the tender. It has RH and DR. This is from the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. Waiting to be restored, and here is a standard four tank. Finally on this section we have got a Hiley mining wagon because yes there used to be a colliery here at Hiley and this used to be one of the wagons they used to take the coal from here uh, down to Kidderminster. So coming down to the other end we have got a pannier here in London Transport livery an Ivert 2 tender in wonderful BR black. Coming up here, we've got a 8F, number 48773. Alongside it, we've got a Royal Mail TPO coach, which will be used to haul parcels and letters across the United Kingdom. Some fantastic little models, I say little models, fairly big models of some locomotives here. This one here, Lion, which you'll recognise if you've ever watched the Tipfield Thunderbolt, fantastic old 50s film all about railways. Have a good look in here. This is where the letters would have been sorted, all here, as it trundled, as it trundled, flashed along through the night. Here we have one of the royal coaches in LMS livery. Have a look inside here. Final locomotive just next to me. I'm going to go down and get a better shot. And this one is Hinton Manor. And for the younger fans, <laughs> there's always one of these here. history, a timeline of the railway and once again we have another another Hornby set here that actually works 
that's clearly on a motion sensor because it wasn't working when I st when I went up to it. It's always worth coming to the engine house, it really, really is. Even if you've been here multiple times like I have, you'll always see something here that you've maybe not seen before. For example, this, I didn't know they had this here. This is Blossom, the nameplate that was on the locomotive that featured in O Doctor Beeching, a programme filmed here on the Seven Valley Railway. This is the last bit that I'm going to film here at Hiley. This is the Falling Sands Viaduct plaque that was put up to show everybody who donated to the railway to help with the Falling Sands Viaduct just outside Kidderminster. As you can see, awful lot of names on there, including, we'll come up now to it. My name. And that is pretty much everything here at the engine house with a very nice view as well. But it's cold, so I'm going back inside. Okay, so I'm just finished looking around the engine house. Uh, not a lot has changed really since the last time I went in there, apart from all of the Christmas stuff which is uh, now there. So I'm going to head back now to the uh, platform, to the station, to go and see if the train is in. I could already see that it isn't, but I'm going to go and see what time it's actually due, um, actually due in. And then, yeah, head back to Bridge North. It's been a pretty good day actually. And I managed to get a video out of it, which is always, always a bonus.
So we just left Highley on the lunch train, heading back to Bridge North for the end of the day. Okay, so now back at Bridge North, my voice is now starting to go, apparently, um, and that is it, pretty much. I'm going to end the video here, so it's been a pretty good day. I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment anything that you want to watch, uh, anything that you want to see, I should say, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.